from the net. Coach John Hanji here after the Keystone Classic. You guys came in second. You've had a pretty good season so far. Had a pretty good trip. Midwest. Tell me a little bit about where you think this team is and where they should be at this time of year. I think they're in a pretty good place right now. There's a lot of room to grow, though. We need to... Um, tournaments are really good because you can figure out a lot of things moving forward. It's not just an isolated dual meet. Um, and this is where we can really go back to the drawing board and really pick on some things that um, will help our kids coming into the next set of dual meets that we have coming up. So really about just growing, learning, and trying to you know get better every day. So. Now, we're about the same age, and I just talked to the guy, your champ at 84, Walt, and he says he still goes with you sometimes, and you're pretty strong. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I just get to pick and choose when I go. I don't have to go every day like these guys. Right. I pay uh, wolf for that, right. but when I feel frisky a little bit, I'm going in there and I'm scrapping at it. But it takes me a couple days to recover, though. Yeah. It does. Now, he was he was talking about your short offense being strong. Is that something you're, you're drilling, or is it just memory now? Uh, it's just memory now. I learned a great front headlock series from Dan Mayo back in the day when I was oh, a competitor, yeah. and um, I was trying to show George, and one day I was busting his chops. I said, you know what? You take the air you leave for granted too much. I'm going to make you appreciate the air you breathe a little bit more. So we're just squeezing a little bit tight. Just having some fun. But it's a good series to learn because it's, you know, easy scores. And those are the easiest things you can get to do the least amount of work. Absolutely. We were talking earlier about after the win from Minnesota, your phone was blowing up a little bit. A lot of new friends. I'm kidding. But tell me a little bit about the impact of that wrestling at the university. Well, for the administration to reach out to me directly, uh, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to our kids. You know, it's obviously great for our program, and it just validates the support that they give us, you know, both emotionally, financially, you know, and, and hey, for us to represent the university the way we did, it, it's a win-win for everybody. And for our kids to have that moment for the rest of their lives, it's invaluable. So, and that's why we do everything that we do. So, um, the, the return on that, you can't put a value. You really can't. The social media, you know, exposure, the the the, 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 the pomp and circumstance, so to speak, back at the campus and all that yeah. stuff. So it was just really good for them to feel good. And it, it, that helps your confidence. Now you're a better wrestler as a result because now you believe in yourself a little bit more. You know people trust you and want you to win a little bit more. So yeah. it's all really, really good. Hey, Coach, thanks for the time and good luck this season. Thanks, man.